Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to call a set of points using information from an image map. So, to begin, let us look for an image. And I'm just going to pick some random image. And so this image has a size of 500 by 717 uh, pixels. So that's important to know because we want to get the ratio of the image proportion. So I am going to create a rectangle. And I want to put in the size uh, of my image into this rectangle I'm working in millimeters so I want to say again 500 by 717 so 500 in my X and 717 in my Y Now, I want to be able to adjust uh, the size of this rectangle, but I want to be able to keep the proportion the same. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to divide the sizes. So you can choose to divide the Y by the X or the X by the Y. In this case, I'm going to divide the y by the x. So I'm going to say 717 divided by 500. And that gives me 1.43, which means if I multiplied 1.43 by 500, it would always give me the correct proportion for my height. So let's multiply 1.43. One point four three four. By five hundred to get our y extents. And if you put in a slider uh, a panel, you would see that the result of that is seven hundred and seventeen. So if I changed my uh, x size the y would automatically adjust proportionally with that value. Now I'm going to import the image that I will be working on. Uh, and I'm going to import it so that I can visualize it in my Rhino workspace. And to do that, I'm going to use an import image widget. And I'll just set the same dimensions for my X and my Y. And I'm going to assign a file using a file path. Let's right click on that and set one file path. So I'm just going to browse to where that image is. And I'm going to use my rectangle as the region. So now that I can see my image, I would like to let's put this, let's make this smaller so that we can always see what that size is. So now that I have my rectangle, and I can visualize my image. I'd like to create a set of random points. And to do that, I'm going to use a populate 2D. Now, with the populate 2D, I need to define a region, which would be my rectangle. I need to define the number of points that I want. And I'm going to say 3,000. <clears> Now 
that would be the maximum number of points that I want, 3,000 points. It's looking good. So, I'm going to put all of these points into an image sampler. And again, when I put the points in the image sampler, I want to double click on my image and browse to the image I'm using to upload that. Now, <clears throat> in this case, I'll be using a color brightness to get the information from the image that I want. And I actually have to set the size of the image again in the image sampler to whatever size that I have uh, imputed here. So that's my X is uh, 238 and my Y is 341.292 and uh, I'll just and I'm gonna say clamp because I don't want it to tile by any means and now that I have my uh, image sampler feeding me some information let's take a look at what it's given so it's a series of numbers that defines the brightness of this image at every given point so the brightest points would be closer to one and the darkest points would be closer to zero uh, but in order to cool this point based on the brightness i have to rearrange all of these values from the smallest to the largest and what that would allow me do is take out a certain number of points from the smallest which would be my darkest points in a sense and leave the brightest ones or the reverse of that and to do that i'm going to sort the list now when you put the list of numbers into the sort list widget it sorts it in ascending order so it goes from the smallest list uh, from the from the smallest value rather to the biggest value but then it also allows me to sort a value so that's so my my numbers would be my keys uh, that it's going to sort but it's going to it's going to use those keys now to sort the points and I'm going to point, plug the points into my value A to get my points to the same order as the number of the values that I've gotten from the image sampler. And once that is done, um, I'm going to split this list of points into two. So let's uh, see let's uh, get a list length to find the total number of points we have so we have 3000 points uh, you can also just use that slider but what I want to do is I'm going to split my 3000 points into two different lists at a certain uh, index so if I have 3,000 points, that means I have points ranging from index 0 to index 2,999. And if I wanted to split it at, say, 651, um, I could easily just multiply my total number of points by a factor. So if I multiply that by uh, say rather instead of multiplying let's divide. Let's divide by 10. And let's see what figure that gives us. 
okay that gives us 300 and if you increase I mean if you reduce that it goes all the way up okay if let's see if we multiply it let's see what range of values that gives us so if we multiply the total length by 1.0 gives us 3000 you can drop it all the way to zero okay so I'm gonna use the multiply that gives us a finer uh, list of values so. so let's use the multiply and what this is basically doing is it's dividing the total number of um, uh, the total number of points that I have which is 3000 by a particular factor and it's giving me a number that I'm going to use as the index for splitting my list. So I'm going to split my list at index 120 in a sense. So let's use a split list widget to see what this looks like. So we're going to split the list of our points and let's use that as the index. And if you put a point container in each of the results, you can see what this split list looks like so if we if we uh, pull that slider so you'd see that it begins to let's look at what's happening on the image it cools the points until it gets the brightest so we can so this part of the image is the darkest and so that would be that. So you have the darkest part and the lightest part. So you could use either of those points. So let's just play with this a little bit and let's keep it somewhere around here. And um, let's say I wanted to create circles from this point. And I wanted to use the values that I got from my image. So I wanted to use the color brightness values to define the radius of that circle. I can easily also just apply the same split. So to copy, just drag and hold down Alt and you can copy. So let's, uh, let's put the keys in there. So that would split the, uh, the values that we got into A and B. So if we were creating, say, a circle from point number B, uh, point B rather, we'll plug that into circle and we want to say normal, we'll just leave that as it is and uh, we're going to use the B values as our radius. And that gives us a range of radius of circles, but that is not big enough so i'm just going to multiply those values by uh, let's multiply them by 10 and let's see what that gives us it may be too big but let's see that gives us 1.2 so let's put that in radius okay okay that's good and now we can reduce that so yeah So this is how you cool points using an image sample. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like the videos and share them.